definitely you're definitely working for it like a lot of like I said like a lot of my friends just think that that don't skate that have like you know labor jobs or work in an office or something just think I just get paid to skate and party but it's just like it's hard work you know like I flew 29 hours just the other day like just to get to a tour in Canada but because they're already on the trip I just go straight to LA and then LA to Toronto but I went from Melbourne to Brisbane Brisbane to LA LA to Toronto went to two customs in like less than 12 hours for me being Australian I have to deal with customs all the time and it's just every time it's like even if you've got a visa they still hassle you like oh you're a skateboarder you got tattoos second thing first trip I was 14 or 15 and I went to England and then did all like the Europe competitions and then came back and then the next time like the next year after I think I was 16 was the first time I came to the States I went to all Europe and then, then came over and uh, with my friend Ben Gauchi and that's when I got on board. Skated a cemetery in Japan, that was pretty strange. It was like a bank, it wasn't actually in a cemetery, it was like on the out, like the fence had like banks going up to it, but they had stairs going up to the cemetery. It was pretty crazy, there was like really big, massive, like, like look like royalty cemetery, like, there was like big, you know, they have, they have big boxes for like rich people. <laughs> um, yeah, so they had that, and there was like a, it's over a gap. So I did a backside flip, and then like carved around, then full cab over the next one. It was like a stairs in the middle with two banks on the side. It was in like loop. I think that's probably the weirdest place I've skated. And then after that, Chima bombed the hill and ate shit. That's in the video too. <laughs> he was bombing and just fucking <laughs> ate so much shit. It was funny. People bombing hills and eat shit are funny. Well, all my tattoos like mean something, whether they're like really bad or if I did it myself. And like this leg, all this leg's done by I did it myself. But it's all drawings from a trip that me and we and uh, Volcom did to Thailand. Like my first one was for my mom, and then then I got Hunter S. Thompson, and this guy. Um, passed away, he used to push with his front foot, he was from the Gold Coast, so I got him, got Hunter S. Thompson, because he was a tripper too, got him pushing on his on the skateboard, I was in Canada, and then obviously Shane Cross, and then uh, got one of my ribs, it's just like my first board graphic, it sucked. I was going to say we don't have groupies, but look at this. <laughs> <laughs>